words as enchantments. You may enchant with words or you may be enchanted with words. So how does it operate on contrasts? How do you know you deal with the metaphysical power through honesty or something else? Well first things first, if you ever witness a god, a goddess, a power, a force, a mighty spirit that for example incarnates into you or avatarizes you or made its presence felt that is as large as a city or as honest as a waterfall then you know and then comes the storm of illusions of sweet powerful voices of angelic deceptions of things talking to you about religion this or that or any other of whisperers discarded all as a lie because these are deluded beings that enchant you with words now if there is an ocean of honesty it is between mortals talking with each other and exchanging ideas there are notions of honesty on the other side too but they are relatively rare so remember words language are merely abstract and they used to enchant you into obedience or into lies so witnessing gods and goddesses being empirical about it feeling their magnetism their power their silence they know about each other of the earth and they ignore it because they operate by the merging of the subject of their force with the idea of the effectuation they don't need to talk and the greatest secret of enchantment is that that impressionable petty people listen to voices, powerful voices, even through the skies, and they believe. They're slaves already. So, if you don't know how to see through it all, that's your issue. But if you find something honest, as in the I Ching, discover your inner truth between you and the gods, as a little god, the goddess. Ignore all those little petty pigs. Even the most powerful and sweet of angelic voices are my lies. Trying to subjugate you. Thank you.